This video will show you how to create and maintain different login names for use in the Healthcare Assistant software. To access the setup, click on Administration and select User File Maintenance. The User File Maintenance is used to create and maintain registered users of the Healthcare Assistant software. It allows you to create different login names and templates for groups or departments that can then be transferred over to individual usernames. This allows secure access to the software and protects patient records from unauthorized viewing and usage by use of defined roles and access levels. To create a new user, click on New and select User. Enter in the desired username, password, and personal information. Active determines whether or not the user is actively using the system. This is automatically selected and can be deselected in the event that the user is no longer active within the agency or the software. The change password on next login will prompt the user to create their own password the next time they log into the software if it is selected. The role lookup box allows you to have the user's rights automatically populated based on a template created. We will cover this after you are shown how to create a template. To begin, you would first select an area of the software to grant rights to. For example, there are rights to the patient file which pertain to the patient demographic, insurance information, communications, OASIS, plan of treatment, general ledger items, claims, and also the financial summary. The scheduler area gives rights to the caregiver and patient scheduler. Billing and remittance allow for users to post charges, make claims, and process claims in electronic remittance advice. Payroll allows the user to create and maintain the caregiver payroll. Library maintenance allows the user to add, view, or modify any items in the healthcare assistant library. The selection list allows the user to only view any active entries in the system. Administration is a section to give users the rights to access and modify information under the administration menu. The reports area shows the reports that the user is allowed to view. And other activities is where rights for miscellaneous functions of the software such as the healthcare assistant dashboard, backing up the database, and being able to add in supplies, medications, and ICD-9 codes from the add-in list. The areas on top are the different functions a user can do. For example, the create column allows the user to add new information, view allows the user to view information, modify allows the user to make changes to the selected item, and delete allows the user to delete any information. If you want to grant all rights for a specific item, click on All. This column also gives you the response of yes to specific yes or no areas of the software, such as the reports. If you would like to grant all rights to a specific area, such as a patient file, select Grant All Rights in the left corner to populate all the areas in the section. If you would like to grant all rights for each section, you would have to do this for each individual section in the user file. For a list of the user rights, click on the yellow question mark on the bottom left. As I mentioned before, templates can be created to easily add in new users, especially if a set of user rights apply to a group or team of people. To create a template, click New and click on Template. For example, I'll create a template for administrators. I will click on Grant All Rights for each section and then save my template. Now I can create or modify a user based on the template. I will access the user we created earlier and apply the administrator template to populate the fields. As you can see, each box selected in the template was selected for this user. If any changes were made to a template, you can click on the Template Refresh button to update a user to the template modifications. Click on Save to save the changes. Once usernames are created, these can be easily managed and filtered by role or whether or not the user is active by indicating so in the lookup box. This eases the management of a group of users if changes need to occur. It is also possible to enforce password expiration limits by clicking on Settings. You can enter how many days a password is active and set up a reminder to notify the user that they need to change their password before it expires. This strengthens the security by requiring users to change a password after a certain time limit. 
and is useful if a user becomes inactive and has not been marked so in the user file. Once finished, save all changes and close out of the user file maintenance.